Hi, Maggie Harding here today, and I want to share with you a journal that I made with Graphic 45's new collection, Little Women. This collection is just gorgeous. I love it so much. It has so many pretty colors and pretty images. So this journal I made is in the style of the Midori Traveler's Journals, and inside it has three signatures, and signatures are what these three little books are called. There are three of them. And they simply fit into the book with an elastic band. So it makes making this style journal pretty darn quick. Okay, so on the cover I've used an ephemera card and I popped that up with a little bit of uh, foam tape. And then just uh, design paper on the back. On the spine, I made this cute little dangle with a graphic 45 keyhole and a key and some beads. And a piece of ribbon. Okay, let's take a look inside. So on the cover here on the left, there's a pocket where you could tuck something. And then the first page has a fold out. And then it has a flip up. Where, so there's lots of room for pictures and journaling. More pictures, more journaling. Here's a fun little pocket where you can tuck in more photographs. Put photographs here. This is a little little page I made with two ephemera cards. And here's a tuck spot for, for pictures, journaling, ephemera, whatever you like, of course. This is a little waterfall page, and I made this with uh, Spellbinders Tammy Tudorow dies. And these are just cute little spots that flip up where you can put little pictures. On the second signature over here, I used a graphic 45 keyhole and tied a little key and a bow there. This is a fun piece of paper that I, I bought a pack of it, and they're all shaped like this, and I folded it to make this page and to make a pocket. Now, this uh, embellishment here, the uh, silhouette in the center is cut from the design paper of Little Women, and then I filled it with glossy accents, so that made a really nice little embellishment. We have a flip out page. And here we have a pocket page. It's got a little pocket uh, thing that you can pull out, and you can put pictures on the front and the back. And here's another tuck spot. Now, over here, I made two little pockets to hold ATC size tags, and I used two. Uh, ephemera cards to do to do that. Then behind there is another big pocket where you have another photo mat. And I'll flip up. Um, you can make quick little flips with ephemera cards. Just score them across the top at a half inch or three eighths of an inch and adhere them down and presto, you've got a flip. Now here I use two little ATC size policy envelopes and two little ACT tags. Those are cute. And here's a little belly band, and another photo spot. And that's the back of the second signature. On the third signature, we have another pullout and a journaling spot. And then I uh, made this fun little thing here. I put some hinges in, and I hinged in a policy envelope. Now, at the top, I cut off the top of the policy envelope and cut a thumb notch there. And I made this out of two large tags to tuck inside. So on the front, you could put a picture there or leave the pretty image there, picture or journaling. Inside, there's a tuck spot with two little tags, and you can put photos on this side. You can put photos on the back. And that just slips right back in there. And then another page and a pull out. And then at the very back, I put a policy envelope and I left the uh, flap so that you could put things in there and tie it down. So that's my journal. Thank you so much for joining me today. I sure appreciate it.